All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to be uh, ending a little bit early today, so sorry about that, but we're also very close to some missions. So let's go make some noise. All right, so closest thing we have here is John. So let, let's meet up with him. Oh, I didn't actually select it, did I? And see what's up. God, this game is just gorgeous. I forgot how gorgeous it was. Hello, John. How you getting on? Arthur, how you doing? Nervous, but I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. <laughs> He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. It's that or, well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride okay. this thing out onto the bridge. This is gonna be hard, isn't it? Third of the way across, where we can get down underneath. Moving this thing. Charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure. Let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies. More chaos. I mean. We're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. Right? It's insane. And I think I got the hang of it. All right, stop. Here's good. All right. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All Sounds right. good. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Got it. Ready when you are. All right. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. I'm ready. Come on. All right. Take it slow. That's not something we want to do. Okay, good. Grab the other one. All right. Yeah, it's not something we want to drop because... If we drop it, we're screwed. <laughs> You're too far back. Left a bit, Arthur. Are we good? Let's get it down. Start lowering it, Arthur. Nice and easy. There we go. Got it. 
All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. You need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Sounds good. This is going to be a mess when it blows. And hopefully no fire hate breaks out around it. Because that would make it even more of a mess. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Okay. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. <coughs> Here's hoping so. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. How you doing down there? On the last one, I think. Yep, just about. I'm coming. Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm coming, hold on. Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! As hard as you can! Come on! Hate this thing. No, 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 no! Come on! Quick, 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 quick! Thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Yeah, it'd be a bad way to go. Holy shit, just run over by a train. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that caused. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. That's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. 
And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah, Arthur really ain't doing too good. Bridge to nowhere. What was I supposed to do? In a minute and 35 seconds? It took me longer than that to do that? Escape the oncoming train. Yeah, that, that, was a, that was a doozy. Horse must have got spooked by the train. Let's go speak to Rain's Fall. And the only mission we got left is down here. Come on, boy. We got something to do. But is this not the pack? Oh, oh my god, okay. They'll finally give us a chance to use these high velocity rounds that we didn't get to use against that boar. This would be a great place for camp, actually. One that wasn't so run down and formerly occupied by cannibals. Even if it is relatively close to the natives. Okay, or you could just run off instead of hitching up. Mission should start somewhere around here. Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. 
Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. All, All right. for reflection. Lead on. Healing. So what's up, Monroe? What, what do you got for us? Captain Monroe. Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. I'll see what I can sure, do. Oh, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. All right, then. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? If that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? No Brutality way. and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get Good. There was no need to harm them. Yeah! Relax, relax. You're gone. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. Hurry up, Mr. Morgan! You kind of ran Why are you riding off like that? So back to what I was talking about. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So... We don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles, 
Let's see. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation. And this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. All right, we'll go on ahead. We're riding together anyway. Let me uh, brush off the horse a little bit. Uh, I can't. Wish I could clean you right now. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. So anyway. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Reservation Arthur's son. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed him and shot him dead. And offered ten dollars. Jesus Christ. Pardon me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're be wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. All we right. can talk more about this later. Is that the wind? Listen to that. That's awesome. This will combine well. <laughs> All right, you got what you need. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. Thank you. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. And thanks for the so, warning. So, you were saying? I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I'm real Arthur Sickness. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. That's gotta be some hell of a thing, just 
going through a life-changing illness and starting to get real introspective more than usual. Oh, this is tight. This is tight. I don't like that. that that's a fall hazard. Any minute I could just yoink myself right off and plummet like a thousand feet to my death. got you so upset as the night. It's just up ahead. Alright, what do we got? What's happened? No! It can't be. Oh shit. To find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look. Look for clues. Um, please. The uh, Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Found an army flask. They were doing some drinking. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Something's up here. I think. Yeah, another bottle of whiskey. Uh, reason would they have? What's the is that a box of dynamite? Yeah. Ah. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. Oh, it's firewood. Soaked in whiskey. Jesus Christ. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Look there. Smoke. Yep. There they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go, they know why you'd come.
All right, let's go get it back. Are you not going down there? I am. I just think this is the only path to get down there. You know, without plummeting to my death. Of course. <laughs> Why can't... There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't like that. How many, how many times do I have to express that? I don't like that. Let's uh, do a little sneaking. Come up near the Canadian border someplace. Camden? They got Indians in Camden. Tons of them. French folk too. No. Is France near Camden then? No. No. France is near. near France. Well, it's in France. Indians is from here. Where are you from? Me? I'm Polish. From Milwaukee. Hmm. Uh. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Alright, I found it at least. Oh boy. Okay, that was a heart attack and a half. Huh? <laughs> Come back up the road. So I probably didn't have to kill that guy that I shot with an arrow, but yep. Looked like he might have been a, a big problem. There we go. And he's right up here. Got your things. Tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, uh, I think. Yes, thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. 
I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Okay. Archaeology for beginners. Oh yeah. Okay. Definitely didn't do the uh, time limit. Uh, what? Who is this? Colonel Mo uh, Captain Monroe. And then Sadie's still down south. So I think since this is closer, we're gonna hit this up. <laughs> what he needs us to do he was kind of vague when talking to us just like i need your help there buddy <laughs> well, at least the past couple of missions haven't devolved into an utter firefight will send you careening off this mountain. Unless I do myself first. There's a military camp. I wonder if they found the corpse. But they might have just abandoned the place. better be a hunter because I swear to god I don't want to have to keep fighting off cannibals right, here we are oh he's right up here 
Very close. Hello, sir. L hold on, give me a second. There you go, you deserve right, this. Let's get you looking nice. And we'll feed you. Good boy. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a PD after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come! Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Arthur is mad. Lead on, Captain Monroe. So, this Colonel Fabian, you knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. Mm. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A really? pale man is often the most dangerous. Yeah, they tend to be. We have a very clear record of that being so, even within recent history. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Oh, that's two animals. <laughs> hey! Oh, sorry, Cur uh, Captain. Yep! Yeah. Easy. Okay. 
Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Well, all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Since that, I can't promise. Come on now, boy. Clearly do not care. Shoot that bastard already. Oh no, don't don't swap the hat, damn it. Can I pick him up? No. Okay. Yep. Got some medicine to deliver. I wanted to tie them both up, but that was just not an option. Oh, come on, really at the same rock?
shouldn't be too long till we uh, get up there. Where's the captain? Hello there, sir. Captain got Monroe. Medicine. I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well. I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Some bad things can be done in the name of good. What? I mean to do that, but... T. Was that Trelawney? Well, he's got something for us. I can't do, I can't make camp here, and I can barely, uh, there we go, I can trot now, there we go. Come on. <laughs> You're a good boy. There we go. Nope, not yet. Let us travel to Beaver Hollow. Hello there, Mary Hi, Beth. Mary Beth. Oh my god. Mr. Pearson. You'll freeze. How are you doing? We're falling apart here, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I we know. We can still turn things around. We'll just soldier on, I guess. We do try. How are you holding up? What's the plan here? Is Dutch gonna be all right? We'll work something out, I promise. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that didn't sound too confident. Hi, Reverend. Arthur, hello. You're looking well. I feel better than I have in a long time. Well, that's Keep good. All right, Mr. Morgan. Let me, uh, let's grab some food. It's like three in the afternoon. Arthur hasn't eaten all day. How 
How you doing? Hey, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hey, Morgan. You all right? What's wrong? Like you don't know? We're all in this together. Whatever, Morgan. Right, everybody's just being uh quite all confrontational and whatnot. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's something great to come home to. Hey, big man. I'm worried. I'm really worried. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's gonna happen, you know? To everybody. <sighs> I guess folks is gonna make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. A good man. Aww. Shit ain't, shit ain't going so well, everybody. Everybody's real down about it. Okay. Um. Shwani needs to speak with you. Okay. Well, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we do return tomorrow, we will see what Trelawney needs. But until then, I thank so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.